Why shouldn't I? I mean, poor the guy was getting too close to home. No, you're such a smart guy. Better make your change. It's almost time for your act. To me, you're the big guy. Run along, baby, run along. the last pinch the girls are wearing so many clothes that it well i gotta go in anyway trouble what for they forgot to tell me just another real scheme for a shakedown that guy big shot i'll pay him plenty to get me a permit to run this carnival i've got to square something i want him here don't tell them so sons Crawling with cops. 
Oh. You, Gigi? Oh, me? Well, those ain't blue pajamas those boys are wearing out there, and they didn't come here looking for Dee. Oh, shut up! This ain't no joke. Oh, Gigi, you know. Reeves was supposed to have knocked off that vice investigation, and yet the place is lousy with cops. Have you been talking? Like what would I talk about? Maybe they're after you. I haven't done anything wrong lately. <laughs> Wait a minute, Sarge. What can I do for you? You the boss around here? Yeah. Who sent you out here, anyway? Your friend, Mr. Reeves. Reeves? What's the beef? Murder. Anybody I know? Yeah. Marsh. Editor of the Herald, the vice proceeding guy. Who do they think killed him? I'm looking for a young guy, about 25, blonde, husky, wearing a tweed sports jacket, light tan slacks, and he's got a blue handkerchief. Oh, there's a girl with him. There's a lot of young guys with girls around here. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. Now, look, Mr. Blake, we're not going to cause any trouble around this, Connie, if we can help it. If you see this guy, report him to me. Sure, I'll pass the wait around. Bill, you heard it. Murder. Yeah, murder. You said they were going to frame me, remember? You can't stay here, Bill. We've got to go away, far away. Uh-uh. No, thanks. Janet, I've got to think of some way to get you out of well, this, we're though. We're together. The only way to get me out is to get yourself out. You don't understand. You're in a spot. And you. You're only wanted for murder. Well, your picture's going to look great in the post office. But Janet... If they catch me, it only means a trial. A trial in this town, where Reeves has, has the police and the judges in his pocket? But at least I've got a chance. You haven't. Look, Janet, I'm sure that Reeves knows that you can prove that I didn't possibly kill Marsh. He's got to keep you away from the newspapers and the cops. And the only way he can do that is to put you away for keeps. Bill, if you're really thinking of me, well, let's get out of this carnival. Oh, no, Siri. The solution of this mystery is right here in this two-bit carny. That was Marsha's hunch. You don't seem to understand, Bill. I I'm scared. I'm really scared. Oh, baby, look. You feel better? Better? Bill. Bill, why don't we hide out here until the show breaks tonight? And then go with it across the state line. Reeves doesn't own the town of Shelbyville. No, we couldn't do that. Besides, baby, we must be getting pretty hot on the trail because somebody is awfully anxious to keep me away from here. And if I ran away now, I'd be proving I was guilty. I'd be doing exactly what they want, see? But, Bill... No buts, honey. Now, look, Janet. Nobody's going to be using this cot if the show is moving out of town tonight. I want you to stay right here and relax. Relax? Gee, thanks. You'll be safe, don't worry. But, Bill... No buts, remember? No buts, but, Bill, please. Please don't leave me. I got to, Janet. If I don't... You and I are going to be running away for the rest of our lives. There's some big guy, and he's right here. He's bigger than Reeves, too. I've got to find out who that is, and I've got to ask questions. A reporter bit? Oh, Bill, you're not going to go out and ask people, well, what do you think of, of men who are in their living by, by the girls? Oh, no. honey, no. Now, that fellow Blake said he was the owner of this carnival. Well, that means he must have an office. That's where I'm going now. At least yeah. it's a starting point. Yeah, I want you to wait right here for me, okay? I see. I can't change my looks, but I can change my description. 
Make myself look as much like those yokels outside as possible. What's that? A work tent. The roster boss stashed the tools there. Well, I'll take a look just the same. Come on. All right now, folks, take your time. Don't hurry. We don't want you to hurt yourselves. I now give you a galaxy of beauty, a parade of fearless folk recruit all set to entertain you in new and wondrous ways. A treat for the lovers of real art. A trip story and exhibition that makes the old feel young and the young feel better. Six tantalizing morsels of loveliness from every corner of the world. World, all set to entertain you. I now present to you that... This ain't a show for boys, this is for adults only. All right, I now present to you Fatima, favorite of the harem to the Caliph of Baghdad. All right, boys, beat it. Come back in ten years. Fatima, thank you very, very much. I now give you, from south of the border, a girl who is very well known, the greatest exponent of the rumba dance. All right, Dolores, show the boys a little rumba. show them too much on the outside. And now, I'm going to introduce you to Miss Pineapple of 1953, a girl whose picture you'll see in every magazine in the country. Introducing Miss Pineapple of 1953, or Love on the Dole. yet? No time. Go to it as soon as you get the show going. Hey, Mr. Reeves, always nice to have you around. shortly. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to a little girl who isn't from the Bronx, Queens, or Staten, and she don't care for Manhattan. This girl is the Jitterbug from Brooklyn. I was talking about the Connie business. It was bad enough until your cops came around. Funny thing, we're all patting ourselves and you on the back for having that vice broke called off, but all of a sudden, boom, place is lousy with cops. Yeah, you thought I was putting the cross on, eh? We're gonna close the show for a shakedown, is that it? Knowing you, why wouldn't I? Then I find out it's only a murder. Yeah. You heard. 
We had poor Marsh. If it happened a week ago, I could understand. Our little surprises fade from Fayetteville. All right, honey. Just a little tidbit. Let's go. Now, what you've seen on the outside will be a much greater surprise on the inside. And now, the biggest attraction Blake's Carnival ever had. Direct from Paris, the cream of the Rue de la Paix. We give you the topper of them all, Gigi, from Paris. That's what I mean, fellas. Look it over. The price of admission is one quarter. You can't go wrong. Your added attraction's a lot of girls. Come on, let's go to my office. Well, relax. Matter of fact, I'm out here looking for a girl. Another girl. I never sold a pot of oleo margarine in my life. Yeah, well, I want to find her before the cops pick her up. You only have six girls now. Oh, he's had eight before. Can't depend on them. You know how it is. They play a few shows and disappear. Yeah, strange how often they disappear after they cross the state line. Sometimes they come back to the county. And yeah, they can't get a better job. Right this way, get your tickets here. The show is starting in just a few minutes. Gigi, it certainly is something. I'll never forget what you boys did to one of, one of my county girls. That was a long time ago, you and George. Yeah, I remember. What happened to her? She got married. Well, now you mention that I had her. Hank! Ask Red about that deal I asked him to handle, will you? Huh? Oh, oh, sure, sure. This is Hank Saunders, one of our best barkers, Mr. Reeves. Hi. Oh, I'm glad to meet you. Uh, excuse me. Let's go to the office. Look, you get in there. Ask him where you can apply for a job, anything, but just stall long enough till I can get back for you, okay? Go on. Go on, honey. Good luck and be careful. Right. You come to the wrong place, dearie. Could I just stay here a few minutes? I... I suddenly felt faint. Those cops, are they after you? Look, I haven't done anything. Sure, sure. No, they're not looking for me. They're looking for a man. They won't come here. And how would you know that, dearie? You stay here. One of you circulate around. There's a girl with that reporter. That's who I'm at. In case there's any trouble, I'm not here. I'll see Blake and set myself up a nice, clean alibi. Understand? So it's Reeves you're running away from. Trying to get you across the state line, too, huh? State line? No. No, I know something. Uh, there was a girl, a roommate of mine, and she disappeared last year when the carnival was in town. All right. All right. I'll fix it so the cops won't find you here. Well, what are you doing? Get this thing off. Get it off. Come on. So you'll look natural when the cops come in. Or Reeves. Come on, hurry up. Get it off. Here. There. There, put that on. Well, is, is, is that all you expect me to wear? Well, you ain't deformed, are you? No. Well, put it on, put it on. I'll never look for you in that. Oh, 
Well, why are you doing this? Well, I'd give anything to skunk that Reeves. You're in trouble, ain't you? And besides that Reeves, my boss, they don't see eye to eye. That little man, he's Mr. Big to me. There, there you are. Now, stand off there. Let me look at you. Hmm, not bad. <laughs> you find a coat, you say? Yes, sir. What color is it? Is it a brown? Yes, sir. Look in the, look in the pocket, in the, in the breast pocket. Is, what, is there a handkerchief in it? Yes, sir. What color? Blue. Blue handkerchief? Yes, come on, come on out of there and bring out the coat. That's boy, George. Come on, let's go. So you're not going to pay off, eh? Better sit down like I said, Mr. Reeves. You're in for a surprise. You're gonna pay me. What are you getting at? Hurry up, fill it. The Connie got you, Mr. Reeves. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Never got me. I take my time. What are you driving at? Whatever it is, get it off your chest. I have more important things to tend to. I've waited too long for this to hurry now. You're crazy. What is it? I'm talking about 20,000 bucks. 20,000 bucks? From you to me, for a change. Oh. So it was you who blackmailed my partner? Not blackmail. Let's just say a friendly business relationship. And it was you who got them to call off the investigation. <laughs> what have you got on him? Oh, a couple of things. Same things I have on you. That's why you're going to keep paying me for a long time. For a long, long time to come. So someone tipped you off, eh? And I know who it was. It was Lil. Lil. Is she here? Lil? Oh, so she is with you. She's been with me for months. She's been real sweet and confiding. So she had to shoot off her mouth, did she? I wouldn't get any ideas about Lil. Everything she told me is all typed up. It's nice and safe and quiet in a safe deposit box. I'll take care of that box. And I'll take care of you. But first, I'm going to teach a certain old dame a lesson. You've got his coat. Yeah, but you didn't find him in it. <laughs> Great work, Sergeant. I want that guy. Get that? Sorry, sir. That's evidence. I know it's evidence. I'll look this over later. I've got to report this. It's your neck. Mr. Reeves. I've got a job to do. And I'm going to do it. Your job is to find Bill Martin, Copper. I know my job, Mr. Reeves. And I don't think it's finding Bill Martin. You have your orders. Out. Hey, when will you dirty-minded cops learn how to knock? This is the ladies' dressing room. You can't come flying in and out like this. Oh, take it easy, sister. We're just looking for a guy. A guy in here? There's a girl with him. There's a pretty girl. Too. All my girls are pretty, and they've all been with this show six months or more. Hey, Sergeant. Mr. Reeves wants to see you. Tell him I'll see him in a few minutes. Okay. Say, when will you cops stop looking for a cheap thrill? I told you that there was nothing for you in here. Thanks for the hospitality, sister. Ah. Shut up! Shut up. 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 Shut up.
Shut up, up, I tell you. Now, this kid's in trouble. It's her the cops was after. So I want all of you to keep your mouths shut. She's been with this show since we played in Birmingham oh, last April. Oh, sure. You get it? Yeah, well, you get it? I got it. Just make yourself at home, dearie. <laughs> Make some money, gentlemen. You never know how good you are until you know how good you are. That's an old Roman gladiator saying I just made up, my friend. Well, I'm going to give you a chance to find out. I'm going to give you a chance to find out right here and now to win some of this money. On my left is my good friend, Mr. Bat Milligan. Oh, a mere slip of a boy, ladies and gentlemen. All right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do, men. I'm going to offer $50, 50 United States dollars, coin of the realm, for the gentleman who will volunteer to stay three short rounds with Bat Milligan, the champion of Oklahoma. Who's going to be the lucky fella? $60, and I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'll make it $20, $20 if you stay one round. What can you lose, my friend? Just a few teeth, and your girl will love that beautiful open smile. All right, come on. Who's going to volunteer here? How about you? $50. Come on, man. Why, if I didn't have this job out here, I'd take advantage of it myself. How about you, young fella? Show the little lady how brave you are. Come on, step right up here. Here's a fine-looking young lad. He's big, he's strong, he's got a lot of the old moxie. $60, my friend. I'm going to make it $60. I'm adding 10, you'll notice. I'm going to make it $60 for three rounds with my good friend, Mr. Bat Milligan. Shake hands with your worthy opponent, Matt. That's a boy. Step right in. I'll take care of everything out here. All right. Now, if you'll just step over and buy your tickets from the little lady on my left, you'll be back when see the battle of the week. But the battle of the century, that's it. Step right over there, my friend. Get the tickets ready. We're going to have a battle in here like you've never seen before. That's fine. Come right along. Yes, sir. Look like you're in pretty good shape. And your box? Yeah, a little, I guess. Here's what we do, see? We don't try to kill the other guy. We make it look nice and fast. We don't go too hard. And in the third round, I make like a haymaker, and you dive, see? And I won't hurt you none. And it's 30 bucks for you. That's very interesting. Hello, Hank. Listen, Bat, Blake says that if you don't make this one look more like a fight, you're going to be out looking for work. You want I should push my brains out for them young goats? What brains? <laughs> no, you listen to me now. I'm not kidding you. He's going to get up on a box and knock you off the payroll with a steak hammer if you don't put up a better fight. Okay, okay. Hey, how do I get to meet this character, Blake? Oh, you'll meet him all right. Don't worry, he'll pay you if he feels like it. Hey, uh... Ever do any boxing? I was light heavyweight champion at Princeton University. Princeton, huh? <laughs> Bad here's a Harvard man. They got his brains in a bottle in the medical college. <laughs> Don't believe him. He's always kidding. <laughs> well, come on, you guys. Get organized now. You go on in a few minutes.
What you want to show me up for? You know this is my bread and butter. What you want to do that for? You threw a couple of punches at me out of left field. Made me sore. Sorry, Bat. I needed the dough. Hiya, boss. Name's Blake. I own this county. Mr. Blake, you're just the man I want to see. I got some questions I want to ask you. Well, this place lousy with cops. And you've got questions? Well, why tell me about cops? What's it got to do with me? Oh, nothing. Only the grapevine has it that the guy was framed. But this kind of talk don't interest you none. Now, wait a minute. I'm not bored. I think you could use a trip, right? I, uh, might. Then here's the pitch. Lots of times we can't find anyone to go three rounds with that. So you're there as a substitute. You step up maybe four or five times a day. Go on. You get the travel free. Tonight we move to Chevy Bill, and that's over the state line. What do you say, kid? The air's better over there. Well, that's okay, Mr. Blake, but uh, I've got to think about a girl. You want to take her along? Why not? Okay. Well, thanks a lot. But I've still got to ask you a question. More questions? Just one. What do you hope to get out of this? Let's just say I don't like the way St. Mr. Reeves parts his hair.
If it took any brain to do this, we wouldn't be doing it. Come on. <laughs> a second. Only six girls in the show, you make seven. How come? Just a second. What's this? Janet. Lil. Yeah, Lil. After 20 years, you're interfering with my life again, are you? Why, yeah. Hey, uh, the girl you want's in there. But I don't want her arrested just yet. She looked great on the witness stand. Your job is to find Bill Martin. And I don't want him shot. I want him alive, understand? All right. Blake. Get this girl over to your office trailer. I want to talk to her alone. Here you are, kid. Take a sip of that. And don't you worry about that, Reeves. I know enough about that guy to hang him. He knows I'm here. And when Bill comes, he'll have him picked up. Now, I've got to find some way to tell Bill. What's one guy to you? You can get another. Leave the kid alone, will you? It's none of your business. What are you protected for? You have a stick around here and all the cops will be on our neck. Shut up. Leave the kid alone. <laughs> Sit down. Straighten up this rat hole fast. Uh -huh. Well, I tried to keep her away from that kid and make her let her alone. The cops know you. You gotta get out. Hey, listen, Blake. You can't push this kid into the hands of the cops. She knows something. You're right, Lil. I certainly ain't. The cops are fired. But I ain't going to leave here either. I'm going to hide her in my own trailer. I know where your boyfriend is too, kid. Oh, then please tell him not to come after me here. Clay Reeves will pick him up if he does. You've got to he tell him to stay guy. away. He didn't. That's what Reeves says. Reeves a liar. He did it, and I can prove it. Okay. Lil, have one of the girls get this kid's clothes together. I'll take her over myself. Go on. You're staying here. All your girls got to be here when the cops come in. Get it? Yeah, yeah. I get it. There's a guy around here looking for you. He's pretty mad. Yeah, I know. Reeves. Yeah. Maybe you'd better hide a while. We'll pick you up across the state line. I'm staying. Come on.
Take it easy, honey. You'll be all right. How long do I have to stay here? Just till we get rid of the cops. Take it easy. Relax. So you're the girl Clay Reeves is after? Yes. It's dangerous business to get in Reeves' way. You don't get around. But I don't understand. Better that way. Forget what you know and you'll live longer. Look, I can't stay quiet and let him go on and... Better try it. Anyway, until we get the Shelby vote. That's what I told you, boy. You've seen Bill. Not only seen him, but hired him. He's coming with the show. Oh, that's wonderful. Funny thing. He never mentioned you. Just thinking, thinking of saving his own skin, I guess. Look, I don't believe it. He, he was probably trying to protect Look, me. Look, I'm sticking my neck out for that boy doing what I'm doing. If I get him across the state line, what's there in it for me? I don't know. We haven't very much money. Uh... I wasn't thinking of money. Okay, okay. I'm going now. I'm locking the door. If anybody knocks, don't answer, understand? Yeah. Okay, if I go over and pick up my time, Cook. Yeah, Blake told me you were going to shill for me. Sure, go ahead, but be back in half an hour. Then mix in with the crowd, and if I don't get a sucker, I'll pick you. Go on, get out of here. No, excuse me. I'm looking for a girl. Ah, uh, yeah, you and how many others? No, please. Her name is Janet. I don't know any Janet, I tell you. Now, go on, get out of here. You Man, it, will you? Don't you this time for good. Yeah. You loused me up for the last time. If you surprised at you, Chief. What are you at? No control over yourself at all. Trying to break in a girl's dressing room. Why bother trying to get Will? When I can tell you where you can find a girl who really knows who killed George Marshall. You're way too smart. Where is she? Smarter than you think. She's in my trailer.
Relax, my dear. I just want to talk to you. I'm sorry. We don't talk the same language. Oh, yes, I think we do. This young chap, Bill Martin, the one who killed my friend Marsh, we got him. I don't believe you. He did kill him, didn't he? No. You're positive? Yes. How can you be so sure? Because he just couldn't. No. Oh. <laughs> he just couldn't. No, he just couldn't. Well, that won't stand up very well in court. Well, I know something that will. Oh, you do? But what do you know that will stand up in court? I'll tell it to the judge. You tell it to me. And what? Now! Now! No. Don't you just... just I'll walk you. Now, you witch! And I'll kill you. You're just a fucking. Get me. You'll tell me. And you'll take that. Tell me. Just great. What? Oh, yeah. I got a couple of scratches? No. Oh. Guy's a tough character. Now we gotta get out of here. Where? We gotta find Blake. Oh no, Bill. I'm sure that it had to be Blake that, that gave Reeves the key to this trailer when I was in it. Yeah? Why would Blake send me here? Oh. Yeah, if we find the answer to that, we're really getting somewhere. And we've got to find Blake. We can't wait till we get to Shelbyville to find out what's wrong in this rotten little Connie. Because Reeves won't be there, darling. Bill. Yeah. I think Lil knows the answer. Why? Well, she was telling me something about the state line. And I'm sure that, that they're all mixed up in your vice investigation. Good. Yeah. Yeah. Janet, I don't want you here. It's not safe here. I gotta get Reeves. Now you get into that dressing trailer and wait for me. About hiding him under the stage, you'll be safe there. Good idea. Wait, come on. Where are we going? You'll be all right. All right, now look, get under here. Get under the stage. Come on, hurry up. Get under there. Now look, I want you to stay under there and shut up. Above all, shut up. We'll be back for you later. Come on, Hank. Okay.
right here, out cold. Be far away. That's right. Let's find him. Why should he shoot you? Because I know too much. That's what it gets you. Haven't I told you cops not to come busting in like this? All right, lady. You're under arrest. I'm taking you down to the station. Me? What for? You for harboring a fugitive and you for being a fugitive. Well, you're a disgrace to the uniform you wear. Right, lady, just go on. You're go a disgrace on. to the uniform you wear, you and all the others who have double-crossed people for Clay Reeves. Oh, save your breath. I won't save it. On, Why lady. don't you arrest go Clay on. Reeves? You I don't listen. dare. Well, maybe I would arrest him if I had a good reason for it. Murder, assault, and this. That's a bullet wound, Sergeant. Did Reeves do that? Yeah. Uh, Why? Target practice. It might help us all if you told him. I won't talk till I see a lawyer. Come on, if you're going to arrest me, let's go. Relax, lady. A long time I've been waiting to get something on Reeves, something definite with witnesses. And it looks like this time I've really got it. Oh? Most cops are honest men trying to do a job. But I've got to have plenty of ammunition to pin it on Reeves. I'll give you enough ammunition to bust this town wide open. Clay Reeves has been gunning for me for years now. My number was up the minute he knew I was here. Why? Because Clay Reeves is somebody else's stooge. And I know who that somebody is. Are you sure you know what you're really talking about? You mean the big shot? Uh-huh. Sure I know, because if you're looking for him, I'm his wife. you see me here, okay? I'll love you for it. Please. Oh. Oh. Look. Let me find Bill, and then we'll give ourselves up and give you all the information together. I can't wait for that. Let me know what you know now. There's an oven, I think, stage. What did he look like? Who? The rubber neck. Oh, I heard a noise, so uh, I look under the stage, and there he is, sort of, you know, gives me the eye and tells me to keep quiet. It's Bill. Let's go. I'll be just and ready when you get back. Bill! It's no use. 
Bill! Can you see anything? No. Bill! If he heard you, he'd come out, wouldn't he? Oh, I'm sure he would. Where's Blake? Hey, what are you doing here? Where's Blake? I want to see him. All right, all right. I'll get him for you. Come on, let's no, go. No, no, wait a minute. Wait a minute. You better duck in the tent. There are a lot of cops around. Go ahead. Get in. Go on, get in. Get out of sight. I'll check you out later, Red. Bill. Bill, it's Janet. You can come out now. Bill! Bill, back here behind the stage! What? Oh, baby. What? It's all right, Bill. Wait a minute. This guy is one of Reeves' men. But he's on our side. Oh, yeah? Or using you to get to me? Look, Bill. If you want to tell the truth, tell it now. He's going to arrest Reeves. Takes a lot of guts to arrest Reeves. Just let's have the facts, Martin. I hope you're right, Janet. Your managing editor, George Marsh, was killed this afternoon. Shot. Yeah, so we heard. Where were you? Okay, let me give you a quick rundown. I guess I might as well trust somebody. In the first place, my boss Marsh did not fire me. As a matter of fact, just before he was killed, he was the one that sent me out here to this carnival to run down a clue he had that Reeves was going to be here tonight at 7.30. This is the first connecting link we had between Reeves and the carnival. And my job was to get to Mr. Big. I was just following a good lead, that's all. No, I, I was on the switchboard at the newspaper, and I heard a voice. I knew it was Blake. He was talking to Marsh, and that was after Bill had left. Yeah, I was waiting down the street in my car. I was taking Janet to the carnival with me. And I was going to, I was going to meet him as soon as I could get through. Yeah, and when she came down, we saw Reeves entering the building and then driving out here into the car. I tune in the police calls. I do that all the time. That's when I heard my description. Wanted for murder. So don't you see? It had to be Reeves. Well, it must have been. Now, you're sure of this, aren't you? Yeah. Only thing is, my job isn't finished. I gotta find out who's giving Reeves his orders. We've both got a job to do. Come on. Come on, Janet. Just like it, gentlemen. Don't knock, just bust right in. Shut up. I want to talk to Gigi. Oh, there she is. What's with you? I just made friends with a bullet. Reeves? Mm -hmm. I'm going to take it to a doctor. You wait here for me. Come on, Lou. First. You saw it, Sergeant. Tell that in court. I'm arresting you. Make it murder, Sarge. He killed Marsh. Marsh? 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 Martin shot Marsh in revenge for... It's a lie, Clay Reeves. You killed him because for 15 years you've been wanting to step into his shoes. Listen, it was Marsh who was back of Reeves in this whole rotten vice racket, wasn't it? I was getting too close, right? Yes, he did it for me. He was always looking after me. And if you want to know, Marsh was the big shot. 
Oh, no, he, he couldn't have been. Now, wait a second, honey. It figures. Remember? You were on the switchboard, and you heard Blake call Marsh to tell him Lil was out here at the carnival. Remember? He called Marsh, and yet it was Reeves here who came out to kill her. Obviously, it was Marsh's plan to have Reeves do the killing and me to take the rap for it. Right, Mr. Reeves? Try and prove it. Sure, I can prove it. That's the easy way for you to fill Marsh's shoes. You've got to get to the hospital. No. No, I, I'm going to stay here for a while. What about us? You want me to tell you what to do? Come on. I guess we don't need any instruction sheet, do we, babe? crazy for the last couple of hours. But he sure sounds good now, doesn't he? He sure does. Ha, 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 ha,